Dr. Rodney Road is uh, Regents Professor of Medical Laboratory Science at Texas State University. With the current outbreak that's happening right now in 2024, it follows the 2022 declaration uh, with MPOX coming out of Africa. Uh, I believe, like many professionals in this area, that, that it's not something that's going to cause a new pandemic or something that's being spread through aerosolization like we dealt with COVID. So, I mean, we should be concerned enough to be watching this globally. We should be communicating. We should be transparent about what what the case numbers are, where it's being found, is it mutating, all the things you kind of see in the news. But outside of Africa right now, I don't think we're at the level where we need to be seriously worried. You mentioned COVID. Uh, have we learned the lessons of COVID or are we seeing the same mistakes repeated so soon? There are lessons that I think we have learned, but we can certainly continue to do better. Probably the biggest lesson that I continually talk about, whether it's MPOX, COVID, influenza, whatever the, whatever the current thing is of the day, is that government and healthcare and those who work in these fields need to be absolutely as transparent and as accurate as we can be when we're talking to the public. I think we made some of those hiccups, some of those mistakes early on in COVID. And what the public has to remember on the flip side of that is that it is sometimes a novel virus or a novel pathogen that we are learning in real time about. So I think it's two ways, two way street. We need to be as completely as honest as we uh, possibly can be. With MPOX, it's a little different situation because it's a DNA virus. It's a little more stable, even though we're seeing this clade 1B uh, kind of difference right now, but we have vaccines, we have some treatments, we have the testing in place. We did not have that in COVID. So I think it's a different situation right now with a little more uh, preparedness. Why is this virus mutating faster than perhaps we might have expected? You know, this, so most of the public hopefully has heard that this, there's really a couple of major clades or just types in kind of regular language, types of this MPOX virus. And this one's called clade 1B. And what's happening is we are seeing, just to get a little bit technical, we are seeing a particular mutation uh, known as ApoBEC3. So I'll just mention that it's, it's an adaptation in humans. So with this particular clade 1B, we're seeing it moving a little faster with respect to mutation. And so that drives viral evolution. So that's the piece around that I mentioned earlier. We absolutely need to be on top of this as scientists, as public health experts in healthcare, to always watch these, these mutation events and seeing what's going on. Because if it does suddenly become more rapid, and we are seeing more cases in children, uh, and, and you know more cases popping up, especially in the Congo, the, the DNC, then we need to be on top of that and we need to be ready to address that with respect to therapy, treatment, surveillance, and all of those other things that we're, we're consistently talking about.